come ye disconsolate where ye languish God is constantly calling us to come to let him get in there where it hurts what is our problem? What makes it so difficult for us to let him in? Some of those dark recesses of our souls. What makes it so difficult? I don't get it. You know, some of us deal with guilt. I want to tell you a little story about a time when my niece wanted to ride on my back in a swimming pool. I hadn't given my heart to the Lord at the time. And I knew I could handle it. It was a little it was a little pool. It wasn't a big deal. What I had not counted on was the little squirt wrapping her arms around my neck, just about breaking my windpipe because she was afraid she would drown. And she was trying to drown me unintentionally, of course. So I had to go through a whole bunch of maneuvers to get her over to the edge of the pool. And I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. But you know, when I got out of that pool, that thing stayed with me for, I would say, about 10 to 12 years. I, anytime I would think about it, the guilt would hit me. Oh, my goodness. That was pathetic. I lived with guilt of almost drowning my niece. I couldn't shake it. No matter what I did, no matter how I tried to talk myself out of it, I couldn't shake it. Crazy. And I gave my heart to the Lord when I was 27. And I took all that, all the stuff that was weighing me down, I took to God. I didn't know it would probably take time and some things I didn't know if I'd ever get over because I didn't know God that well. I was just getting to know him. But I knew to start talking about all that mess right at the beginning because it was probably going to be a long haul with my long list of stuff. Well, as it turned out, I realized after a few months that if I ever thought about that event, the guilt was gone. I, I couldn't believe how far gone that guilt. It was, it was just gone. I don't know how else to say it. I had no more guilt. And I just say that to say, for those of you who may have guilt issues, I don't care if it's abortion, if it's uh, rape, if it's being raped, if it's... Uh, uh, endangering your child, whatever may have occurred, or somebody may have gotten hurt as a result of something that you decided to or not to do. Ask God to help you forgive yourself. Of course, ask God to forgive you. And ask God to remove the pain of guilt. You don't have to be haunted and, and uh, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of the word. What does guilt do to us? You don't have to be weighed down by it. You don't have to be paralyzed by it. You don't have to be hindered by it in any way or even tormented by it. That's the word I was looking for. You don't have to be tormented by that. Here's another one. Yes, I've been raped, and I know what that feels like. I know how the anger is. But guess what? God healed me from that, too, and enabled me to forgive the perpetrators. It's been more than one. But, yes, I put myself in the position. I put myself in danger. Had been clearly warned by my father. And when I saw it playing out in front of me, I said, hmm, yep, just like my father said. I did everything he said not to do. As a result, I didn't get hurt, didn't get harmed, 
just had my little ego and my pride busted wide open. And I felt stupid, stupid, stupid. That's another one God healed me from. Shame. Isn't he something? There's so many things God can heal you from. There's another thing I believe God can heal you from. And I think this is a good one for especially you victims to listen to. Number one, God did not call you to be a whipping board. Trust me. He loves you way beyond your highest imagination. And if you're being whooped on and you're staying with the person who's whooping on you, you don't know what love really is. Trust me. That ain't it. That's sick, not love. It's called sick. The person who's beating you is sick and you're sick for staying. And I love you as I say that in the Lord because I don't know who, who's listening. But I feel for you. I had a landlady who was beaten by her husband and it used to break my heart. And one morning I got up to go to school and one eye was so blood red it looked like it was swollen full of blood. Her husband had beaten her down so bad. And when he tried to kick her out, and I would be like, go, go. She would beg him to let her stay. And she ended up, after 40-something years of marriage, of all that abuse, she ended up in the hospital spending 10 days dying from internal injuries and complications from years of massive abuse. And then within a few months, the neighbor said she saw a hubby riding in a brand new car with a couple of ladies, looking like a pimp, looking like a fool, thinking he was all that in a bag of chips. But when she passed away and they had the funeral, he was flailing all over her casket, crying like she was the best thing since butter and cheese. He was just, he was sick and she was just as sick for staying for wanting to stay. And I love that lady. She was a beautiful lady. She treated him like a king. Now, I don't know what it is that causes people to think they can beat down people like that. And they feel justified. They feel like they're right in doing it. And the person beaten down, the pitiful part is it happens so long, they start to believe they really deserved it. You don't deserve that. God did not create you for that. You were made beautiful. You were made in God's image and his love. That is not what he created you for. That's what they made punching bags for, not people. Please love yourself. Learn. Go get help. If you think you deserve it, take it from me. You need help right now because you'll end up dying from that very same hand that you of the person that you think you love, you will end up dying by that same hand if you don't get out. And if you have young kids, trust me, you might end up allowing them to get killed as well. I'm saying that in love. Please be warned. You're not obligated to stay. God does not require that of you. There are too many places you can get help. God bless you. God, I hope you get out. Get out in time. Don't let his guilt trips or her guilt trips cause you to stay. Don't let anybody do that to you. God does not anoint guilt. That is not from God. God bless you as you make your way.